So I will be selling this unit. I'm going to be selling this hair, this 360 wig. Um, the lace is still on. It's very, very long. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a long overdue video and by the title you can already tell what it is. I ordered a 360 lace wig from the company Wow Ebony back in November and I've just been stalling on making this video just because I've just been so torn about how I feel about this situation so I'm just going to share how I feel with you guys. I ordered this hair back in November when they were having a Black Friday sale. The sale was 40% off of the 360 lace wigs and then I had a $10 off coupon that I found on a YouTuber's video. I was really just trying to save money any way possible because these wigs are not cheap at all. There were a lot of companies that I looked at when I was looking for a wig, but Wow Ebony just had good reviews, the hair seemed to match the pictures, and their prices were pretty affordable, so that was why I decided to buy with them. When I bought the wig, it took about two weeks to get here. They gave me a tracking number and everything, but it was a little bit weird because... I mean, it was coming from China, so it's a little bit hard to, it's not like tracking something that's in the US, so it was a little bit difficult for me to figure out how to track the hair. The day I knew the hair was coming, I went to the beauty supply store to get everything that I was going to need. I got got to be glue, mousse, a wig stand, I got everything because I was so excited for my hair to be coming and it took so long so I was really anxious to get the hair. So when I got the hair, it came in a box like this, any old box. And on the inside it did come with a lot of goodies. So it came with the hair, two wig caps the elastic band, some sewing stuff for you to tie that on there, for you to sew it on there. Came with two clips, a mirror, and then like a booklet just talking about the company Wow Ebony. And so when I took the hair out, it was really, really nice. It matched the picture to me, so I was really excited about that. I'm just gonna show you guys the hair now. So it came in like a bag and everything. And then it has a hair nut around it. It's been in this bag for about a month now, so the curls are definitely a little bit smashed. But the hair is really, really soft. It's really pretty. And the lace isn't really like that far from my own, the color of my scalp, so it's a really, really pretty wig. And then it came with a card attached to it just telling you everything about the hair. So this is a 360 Indian Remy lace wig. It is 18 inches, 180% density, and the cap size is medium. And that is where I messed up and I had no clue that my head was big and I had a lot of hair. So after I took the hair out and everything, I went ahead and I washed it just because I felt like that was the right thing to do because I didn't just want to stick it on my head not knowing where it came from. So I washed it twice. I put the product in, let it dry. The curls were beautiful. I had prepped my hair to apply the wig and when it came time to put the wig on, it was so tight on my head. The lace was skin tight. It just wasn't fitting my head. and. I was very, very disappointed because I had plans to wear that wig on Monday to school, so it was totally a big curveball in my plans for the wig to not fit. So I definitely tried it about 10 times, and I wanted to come in, like film videos for you guys of me wearing my new wig, and then it didn't even fit. So I was very, very disappointed. I got in contact with the company and asked them like how I could go about sending it back and everything and they just told me you know that I had to send pictures to show them that I still had everything so they gave me the return address I went to the post office ready to return it because I want a wig that's gonna fit my head because I was I just wasn't gonna try and wing it with this wig that's way too small so took it back to the post office and the post office lady was like, you know, it's gonna be $60 for you to send it back to China. And I was like, 
that's ridiculous. It's no way that I'm going to spend $60 to send it all the way back there. And from what she was telling me, China is a lot different when it comes to receiving packages. So there's no way of knowing that they received what you sent. And it can be like just thrown away. So like there's really no way of guaranteeing that they'll actually get the hair back. So then of course I was even more upset. I was still in contact with Wow Ebony, which they do have amazing customer service. I didn't feel like it was their fault at all. I just wanted to figure out a solution. So I was emailing them. I was like, do you, do, do you guys have like some kind of return label like most companies do where I can just send it back free of charge on my end and just get what I need? And they were just like, you know, that's not something that we offer. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to sell this hair myself because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it any other way. So, I just decided that I was going to sell the hair and order the proper size. So, I procrastinated so much on ordering the right wig size just because I couldn't wrap my head around um, waiting even longer to get the hair just because I was so anxious and then it didn't even fit. So, to get a large size cap is an extra 35 days and $35. So... I did end up ordering the hair, but I did not order until a month later, just because I was going back and forth on if I really wanted the hair, if I felt like waiting for the hair, because it's a good two months that you have to wait to even get it, and I'm very antsy, and I was like, what am I going to do to my hair in the meantime, now that this wig doesn't even fit, it just threw an absolute curveball in all my plans. So I ordered the hair the proper size on December 20th and it's now January 10th or something like that, January 13th, I really don't know what today is, but it's almost been 35 days. It's still being processed and everything. So I'm definitely excited to get the proper size and everything, but I am a little bit disappointed that I did spend so much money on this hair and then I can't even send it back. So I will be selling this unit. I'm going to be selling this hair, this 360 wig. Um, the lace is still on. It's very, very long. I'm going to be selling this 360 wig that did not fit my hair to one of my subscribers for $150. Once again, I paid almost $200 for this hair, so to sell it for $150 is very nice on my part, but if anybody is interested in this hair, it hasn't really shed at all. If anybody is interested in this hair, definitely let me know so that we can discuss some way for you to get this hair because I don't want it to just sit in my room forever and nobody gets to actually wear it because this hair is really nice and really thick. And I want somebody to be able to enjoy it because clearly my head is way too big to be able to enjoy it. So I'm going to be selling it. If you guys are interested, you can email me or leave a comment down below that you guys are interested and I will reach out to you so that we can discuss pricing and shipping and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and shout out to Wild Ebony for their amazing customer service and communicating back with me so fast and trying to resolve my issues. So thank you guys for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye guys.